What's up guys, this is your boy Russian. One thing that is very important for us to take a look gonna be the bugs, uh, some fix for those bugs, hardware optimization, and the other options you guys have to be able to run this game with pretty much no issues. Also, just let you guys know some of those fixes and the most stuff that has to do with uh, some of the optimizations, it may work cross-platform, but I just want you guys to know that this is mainly PC-based, okay? So, I'm sorry, I didn't got the game for the Xbox and I do not have a PlayStation, so I cannot confirm anything. I know other people are covering those things, so, all right, so that's PC. Some things may work for you guys if you're on consoles, but probably mostly not. All right, so talking about bugs, um, there are not too many bugs on the PC version. Now, as I say, there are not too many bugs, there are multiple bugs, multiple areas where I encountered issues. Now, what I mean by there are not too many bugs is those are kind of the same bugs, just in different areas. All right. So first one. 3D location assets. All right, what do I mean by 3D location assets? For example, characters, they're like floating in space. People holding things like phones, and the phone is actually floating in a complete different area. Uh, the same thing you're going to see when in one scene, uh, someone's holding a chip or something else. And when you replay that scene, maybe with another character, he's holding nothing. He's just... Kinda talk like an Italian, ah, uh, or from Brooklyn. That works too. Now, this issue uh, we can't fix in our side, it, but it's something that I could see even before the end of the year, a patch coming out and fixing those type of issues, okay? But that's about that. Now, the second type of bug has to do with NPC dialogue. I don't know if you guys encountered that, but while you're talking to NPCs, uh, you can see that they're talking because you see on the bottom of the screen what they're saying, but there's no voice coming out. And it's not just one NPC. When, when this happens, every single NPC in the game just goes quiet. Someone's in a great mood. Looking for Evelyn Parker. She work here? It's V. Just V. Only people I know real well get to use my real name. Sure. Why not? Do what you do best. Um, that fix can be very simple or very annoying. So, all right. So, how do you fix that? If you encounter that problem, this just going to keep going through the game. What you have to do is just load the last save. Um, and you should be fine. If you're in an area that your last save is way behind from where you are and you don't want to go through that again, just save the game. Load the game again, and it should fix. Now, the times it doesn't fix, and it kind of fixed uh, two out of three times with me. What you're going to have to do is just quit the game, restart the game, and the problem is gone. All right. The last type of problem I found was crashes during specific times of the game. What do I mean with about specific parts? All right, so... When I was by the crash site during the mission, life during the war time, um, when I was scanning the area, I had to find Mitch. 
So I did not find Mitch within a certain time frame, and the game crashed. The second time I went through, I thought it was just a crash, common crash. And uh, during that same time, I didn't find Mitch fast enough, and the game crashed again. So the third time I found Mitch, Mitch and the game just proceeded normally. Um, what I can see that problem is is that whatever would happen if I can't find Mitch by scanning the area, uh, something would happen and there is a glitch in that part. So the only way to fix that, find Mitch. Now besides those, I really didn't see any issues. Uh, the only other crafts I had was when I really upped my uh, CPU speed on overclock. So I'll blame on that. It could have something to do with the game. But I'll just assume that it was on my side and not in the game side. All right, now the part you guys want to hear about. So hardware optimization. Now the first thing you need to know before you can try to apply those things, and honestly, if you're running below minimum requirements, you should try to apply off those. So one thing helps the other. And now there's many things in the internet that you guys can use to find out where the bottleneck is. Uh, I would say the easiest one, if you guys are not so comfortable with, just press Windows G and it's going to bring up your game bar and it's going to give you the percentage for GPU, CPU, memory, all that stuff. So this should be enough for you guys. And if you guys are starting um, dealing with that kind of issues, that should be enough for you guys to find out where the problem lies. It may be both of them, okay? But that's going to give you the percentage. So that makes it easier. All right, the first one, and it's very simple, it's if you're having problems with CPU. Now, how do you know if you're having problems with CPU? That's very simple on Cyberpunk uh, 2077. Usually you're gonna see your frame rate drops when you actually get to the city. Whenever you get to like areas with a lot of people, a lot of cars, a lot of things going on, your frame rates just dip. And it's not little, it's like they go, they cut almost by half. Now, this is caused because the amount of NPCs you have in the area. Uh, but that's an easy fix. It does not fix completely depending on your CPU, but it will give you some improvement. Now, if you're running Ryzen, for example, you may actually get like 40% more frame rates in the area. Okay, so that's a good thing. All right, so the fix is simple. What you guys have to do is go on settings. You have the option gameplay right on top. Um, go to crowd density. That's dictating for the game how many NPCs are in the area. Okay, so usually it's set on high. What you guys need to do is just set on low. It only has those two options. Set it on low. It's going to reduce the amount of like random NPCs in the area. And it should improve your frame rate. Based on CPU, not as much on GPU. You may get some improvement on GPU, but it won't be much. But your computer is not have to compute all those random people walking around, so you're going to have a big boost on the CPU. All right, now the next one is for AMD users. Okay, so, and that's thanks to the Redder Chaos XH. Um, this guy actually set up a very, very simple way for you guys to optimize your core usage. You see, what happens is Cyberpunk 277, for some reason, they only use the physical cores. They don't use the logical cores. So you're going to see, if you're actually looking at your system, you're going to see your logical cores idle and your physical cores running like crazy. So what he did is pretty much you're gonna have to edit the uh, Cyberpunk 2077 executable. Um, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link, uh, I'm gonna leave the link in the description below for you guys to just go in there. It's easier uh, for you and for me to even, uh, instead of me running and showing how to do it, you guys can do it yourselves. It's pretty simple, okay? You're doing like five minutes and you're gonna just open your logical course and that's it. You're going to get a big boost on your CPU as well. And now for you guys who are having GPU issues. All right, so if your main issue is your graphics card, 
there's a couple of things you guys can reduce on graphics that will actually give you a lot more uh, frame rates, okay, per, uh, frames per second. So those are the three ones that you guys should actually reduce. All right, and they are volumetric fog, screen space reflections, and ambient occlusion. Now, this last one, what you need to do is try to keep on median because that really is what gives a lot of the look of Cyberpunk 2077. But those three use a lot of the graphics card. So if your your issue is not the CPU, if your issue is the GPU, you should try to play with those three and see, you know, what it's going to boost the most your system. Now, the other options, they really do not apply as much. They do not take so much from the system. You can also play with them, but those three are the main ones. All right. So if you reduce that, you should be able to boost your GPU speed. Also, on the bottom of the graphics menu, you have the option of Fidelity FX. Uh, make sure it's enabled. Now, the best settings you're going to keep in there is keep uh, the minimum of the rescaling to 80, between 80 and 90 percent and the max at 100. That also should help you guys a lot on, uh, on run the system. And now... Let me say, even with all of this, you still can't run the game. Well, you can still run. You can pretty much run a potato or an onion. And that's how. So, there's something today that is called, and I know a lot of you guys know about that, but it's uh, cloud gaming. So, GeForce Now, for example, is an option. Uh, I believe Google has an option like this as well. Now, the, the only issue, and as you guys can see, I'm going to show you, um, I did use this, but I am in Brazil right now, and the problem with that is internet speeds in here are not like in the United States. I don't have gigabytes. I have megabytes of speed, so it doesn't work as well. Also, to log in to Dan, I had to use a VPN, so when you go like 200 megabytes, internet, using a VPN, and requesting something from a server, um, not the best thing. Uh, so, but it's still, the problem wasn't exactly frames per second. The frames per second that I was getting were about 60 with big drops to like 45. So, and I, my utilization was something like between 30 and 44% of my CPU and 16% of my graphics card. So, you guys, even with a computer that is having problems running, uh, you can still run using cloud-based uh, gaming. It's not an issue. The only problem is, um, you know, you have to pay for. Uh, GeForce Now, I believe, is about twenty four nine nine for six months, and that's a founder's um, option. If not, you can have for free, but you can only play an hour a day of uh, cloud gaming. So the best thing for you guys to know, if you actually want to apply money, 24 for six months, not that bad. But if you guys want to find out, just get the free account and see how your internet plays with it. Again, a lot of people are probably using that right now, so it may be affecting some of the speeds. I heard from people that actually tested that with uh, high-speed internet in the United States that there is like a third of second delay on the commands. So for cyberpunk may not be such an issue uh, when you're having a third, depending on your internet, depending on which type of router you're using and all that stuff. Some people get a lot less. So test it out, see if that's good enough for you and, you know, get the service. And now I'm not a sponsor for them. Couldn't care less. One of the main issues about the Cyberpunk launch was there was a lot of issues. Uh, pretty much all the ports for the consoles that they're not ready. Um, people are getting really angry about it. Uh, a lot of people have major issues with CD Projekt Red. Now, my opinion, yes, I do believe that they should hold on to the game a little bit, but I understand May, there are many reasons why I believe they didn't. One of them being, yes, it's almost the end of the year. 
companies close their books, give the numbers for the year, and that game is what really would boost their numbers up. Now, the other problem is this game being delayed since May, um, it was announced almost a decade ago, uh, about eight years ago. So, kind of, uh, they felt they had to get the game out or... You know, if they kept finding issues, uh, they would have to, I don't know, maybe cancel the game or just put like a indefinite delay. So they decide to actually let the game go live. Now, also some people said that maybe they should have held on on the console version and worked on that. But I guarantee if they had released just PC you would have a lot of people really angry that they would not be able to play the game while PC users would. So, that was a lose-lose situation for Dan. At least, they're trying to communicate with the gamers, they're trying to communicate with other companies, they're trying to, you know, show that they're still there. Not like a lot of companies that the moment something goes wrong, they just disappear. So, that's a good thing for CD Projekt Red, but kind of a rough launch, right? So if you guys haven't subscribed, please do. Helps a lot the channel. Uh, hit the notifications button. Give me a like. Leave a comment. Comments always help. Helps YouTube to know that I exist. And I, I really hope you guys have a great week. And as always, I'll see you in the game.